Hello guys, it's me, your boy, the X Phoenix Wing here. And I kinda do the same thing. I thought I had previously had audio on here and I did not. I don't know if I had explained that I was going to make a time lapse or anything like that. I somewhere in my head I thought that I did. But pretty much in this time lapse only thing I'm going to end up doing is I was able to save a sheep and a cow. I want to at some point have a cow and a sheep farm going. I do end up well I guess it'll probably go by quick but I do end up deciding this wasn't planned but I do end up deciding making a little enclosure for the cow and the sheep because the Adam was anytime they spawn seem to kill them <laughs> and I didn't want them just straight up just die so I was like I'm gonna try to save them so that way I can have I need as messed up as it is I need a cow farm so I can get the leather to help me make an enchant area oh yes I also do demolish the rest of the village in this one so the village has completely been stripped down to just the one building. But I do also make, I don't know if I do it in this one, it's probably the next one, I do make an enclosure for the horse. Um, one reason I had made the enclosures farther away from everything is because of the noise. And where I want to build my house, I really don't want the animals to be super close just because I've done that one too many times and regretted my mistake of having a farm super close to the house because then it's a non-stop animal noises and yeah I just didn't feel like going through that pain anymore and I was like I want to be smart and move it away from the house I'm gonna build but pretty much all I do is terraform this upper top to try to make it I don't know a little bit better but pretty much for the most part I'm just gonna sit up here terraforming and then I do I do think I already finished up the villager house I don't think I actually I don't think I did yet yet because there's not a roof on it yet I do finish it in this episode, so there's just going to be little add-ons I'm going to do later. I'm not going to be too worried about it now. There's just going to be doors, hopefully they don't push each other out. I do want to get more beds, which is one reason I kept the sheep around. Was so, if I found another sheep, I could put it in there and breed them. And I could have almost an infinite resource of wool. I don't plan on killing the sheep, where if I'm going to have a cow farm, I can just kill the cows. And get all the meat and everything I need that way. A pig farm would be nice just for a food source. So I'm not draining just one thing. But where I have a decent farm going, I'm probably going to make it bigger. I do have an idea. And I'm not sure when I'm going to start on the harbor. I'm probably going to wait until I at least have somewhat of a stable food source. And I have, I have a better idea of what I'm doing and where I'm going to build a nether portal. Yeah, because I can get the obsidian because there's a lot of obsidian. Already lot of, there's a lot of lava in the caves. Which would be just a load of mining. The only thing I know that I need for the nether that's completely changed is I will need at least one set of gold. Or one piece of gold with my armor. That way 
I don't have mobs. I forget what they're called. Not the... I think it's... Not the pigments, but I forget what they're called. But if I go in there and I spawn in an area where it's full of them, the last thing I want is to just completely be destroyed by any mobs on the other side of the portal. I do talk a little bit at the end of this. I didn't think this recording was going to be that long. Between this and the last one, it was over an hour long. And I did end up recording all these back to back to try to get as far along in the game as possible and make as much progress as possible. So that way, you guys didn't have to sit there and watch me just from episode to episode continue the build. In a way, I was kind of, in my head, this was kind of like live streaming. Which I've never had a chance to actually live stream for hours. But if I ever did, it would be kind of like this. But I do hope I'm improving a lot the way I talk and how I'm editing and doing stuff. You know, anytime you guys click on a video, it lets me do it. Lets me know I'm doing something good. I don't know, it's just, I like it. I also just like making videos now. But I guess I'll let you guys watch some of this. I've been talking for a little bit. But I do hope you guys like this little time lapse. And I hope I've explained everything pretty well. Oh, before I forget, I do end up freeing that villager who was stuck in the glass. Because I forgot that if you put paints near glass, the villagers get stuck in it. They won't die as long as there's not a solid object on the other side. And you will see that when I push them through. Or push the villagers through. But I do end up fixing it by putting bigger glass there. Or the regular glass. And I do want a tree farm, and I think I've kind of started that near the villager house. But anyways guys, I'll let you all watch the rest of this. And you'll probably hear past me talk at some point, which would be interesting. But yeah, I do hope you guys have liked everything I've been doing. I've been making a lot of progress. It's felt slow, <laughs> it's felt like forever, but I'm finally getting somewhere. Uh, not the next coming video, but the next one after that, I will probably go into the mine and start collecting obsidian when I feel like I'm ready and I have enough torches to explore for a while. So that way, I can at least have a good place to Or enough stuff to go down there and explore for a while because my biggest thing was exploring that big area down there that I think is super cool and pretty down there it's got like an underwater pool and all kinds of stuff actually oh no that obsidian's underwater that would take forever to mine so I'm not doing that I remember in the third or first episode where I found that underwater structure or that underwater portal I didn't think about that before but anyway you guys future X Phoenix future X Phoenix wing out <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys liked everything and uh, the next here in the next couple of episodes we'll be back to mining and hopefully building another portal and hopefully I can find a setup for my horse so I can go exploring because when I was thinking about it I couldn't really go anywhere without the horse the horse is going to be the biggest help out of anything and yeah I appreciate everything you guys do
back. I'm just kidding. It's me, X Wing, X Wing. And, uh, I've hoped you have all liked what I've been doing. It's been interesting. I didn't think I'd make a farm. Pretty exciting, I guess. Trying to get all this done, but anyways, I hope you guys liked a very liked a very liked everything. I said that weird, and uh, I'm just gonna finish up doing some touch-ups real quick. I still haven't finished the villager building, and probably in my next recording, I'm gonna go into the mine. There's some more resources I do need to get. Respawn point set. The villagers don't seem to be using the bed, so uh, it's my bed now. <laughs> no. I do think there's a villager stuck too. I've not seen him move from that one place in a while. So I think he might be stuck. gonna do some touch-ups and then only thing I need to do is place a roof on this place it should be good to go after that but I hope you know you guys are doing great enjoying everything that I'm doing I'm trying to be as entertaining as possible trying to be excited about everything Which is kind of hard when you don't have really much to talk about when you're not making an overlay recording. But I've made a couple of things. I've made making progress now. Soon it's almost time to start getting all my stuff ready for the old nether. I'm gonna take that jump. I still need more glass before this place is done. Now that I have a couple farms made, a place for my horse, a place for farm animals. I want to work on my house last, just because there's a there's more resources I'm going to need, especially for an enchant table. As much as I want to make books, I don't have anywhere to make them just yet. So. That is kind of one thing that's slowing me down, is not having the the resources all quite ready to do that. But in the meantime, you know, I've hoped you guys liked everything. Um, for the villager place, house, uh, just do quick touch-ups on the top. I'm probably going to do what I did here with this, this design and then having a skylight. I think that would be pretty cool. Well, I guess I'll squeeze all that in if you guys want to watch the last little bit of this. What did I do with it? Here it is. But yeah, hope you guys liked everything, and the last little bit will be me finishing, somewhat finishing up the roof of that. Actually, I'll go ahead and knock that out, just because I know if I don't do it, I probably won't get done with it. So, yeah guys, actually I'll just keep talking I guess, and then that way, yeah, that'll work. I'm just... I'm getting tired of just doing time lapses and not being able to say anything to you guys.
I don't know. Is it strange though? That I like talking? Maybe I like talking too much. I like that. I can see out this way. And then all I have to do is work on the top here. Shouldn't be too too bad. <gasps> okay, if I don't kill myself. So let me go get dirt so I'm not using cobble. Because that would be a smart idea. Probably will. It's probably not. Actually, that should probably be enough to do the roof. It's starting to look nice. That's what I'm kind of excited for. I'm having this place done here soon. Which has kind of been one of my biggest projects right now because it's still technically not done. But I'm not going to worry about adding anything just yet to it. I feel like I've spent a lot of time just building, not really mining a whole lot or traveling. There's just a lot that I'm going to have to do, and then when it comes to the my biggest goal is getting past the Ender Dragon and then seeing what goes on from there. Do I have enough to finish the windows? I believe I, th I do. Wait. Nice. Now I can start working on the roof. too fancy with the roof because I think this is probably going to be the tallest building here my house is probably going to be eh, probably about the same something like this going along top here. Kind of like how the villagers ha had it going. And then just go up back and keep doing it.
should have enough wood to make it like this. It's not gonna fall off. Just kind of my biggest worry is I'm just gonna fall off the edge of this. As long as I fall off and use my water bucket, I should be fine. Words on should be. But what do you guys think about my building techniques? I'm not the best builder in the world, but never claimed to be. So. Oh, this might take me a minute, because, <laughs> uh... Why did I just do that on that side? I kept that one short. Yeah, and then this is going to go this way. Not like that. Honestly, I thought they'd use these beds more, but I guess I was kind of wrong about that. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one second. Alrighty, guys. Eyes back. Eyes back. I don't know why I say it like that. No, oh, that's right. I do hope I'm going to have enough wood for this. After tearing down all their houses just to do this. Nah. I think I'm placing it too low and that's why it's doing that. freaked out for a second. I was like, I'm dead. Boop. And a boop. I should have made that differently. It does give me an idea of how I'm going to do this.
mistake. Go this way. I'm mean, getting quite a little bit, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just hyper focused. Hope I'm I've done this correctly. Go out one on that other side. 